Zephyr went to Sonic's world? Well, we have to bring him back, right now! I don't think we should try to operate his machine, Mrs. Thorndike. Only Chris understands how it works. I can't risk tampering with it, Lindsay. If I damaged it in any way, Chris might be trapped in Sonic's world forever. But we can't just leave him there! <sighs> we have to trust our son. But... Chris knows how to take care of himself. And you know it's never wise to underestimate a Thorndike. <laughs> I'm sure Chris will try to communicate with us, Mrs. Thorndike. We'll stay here at the lab and let you know right away if we hear from him. Thank you, Helen. Please do. There's no doubt about it. I was in the engine room a few minutes ago and I saw the Master Emerald reacting to something. It must have been an emerald. Check for a planet nearby. Let's see. There's one. That's Planet Seco. And according to my galactic guidebook, it's dry as a bone. Land on Planet Seco and find that emerald. Let's go! I'm supposed to give the orders. Just do it! According to the scopes, there's a lot of water on this world. Oh no! We can't land here! There's gotta be some kind of mistake! Tough luck, Sonic! <laughs> Must have made a wrong turn, Tails. The guidebook says this planet's dry. Don't blame me, Sonic. Sounds like your galactic guidebook's seriously out of date. There's way too much water here. I hate water. Don't sweat mm -hmm. it, Sonic. Mm. I have a way for you to stay dry even when you're underwater. You're not afraid of submarines, are you? <laughs> Launch the subs! Uh-oh, Sonic's looking pretty seasick. Lucky for me, we're riding in separate compartments. Sure, the Chaos Emerald's somewhere nearby. I couldn't be surer. What makes you so certain we'll find it here, Knuckles? Because I've got a natural knack for finding things. Oh. I'll show you. Emerald too. 
be a long day. You don't think Sonic and Chris ran into some kind of trouble, do you? Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Sorry. Where are we? Hey, look! Oh. Huh? Sonic, come on. You're safe now. Uh. Uh. They're Metarex. Yeah, and whoever sent them here designed them especially for the water. Right. I bet their boss stole the planet egg and turned this place into a water world. I knew there was something fishy going on. Uh. <laughs> Well, you have the chance! I'm not afraid. I've got a black belt in karate now. You know karate? Tanaka gave me martial arts lessons. I'll chop through these fishy freaks and turn them into sushi. Okay. Leave the fighting to the experts, Chris. No wonder Sonic doesn't believe me. I have the skills of an 18-year-old with the strength of a 12-year-old. Maybe I can stop these things with a surprise counterattack. Gotcha! Get in that sub and get going! Look behind you! if we use teamwork. There's no reason for you to go it all alone, okay? Okay. This is the Blue Typhoon. Over. It's Amy. I'm calling from under the island. I have some bad news about Sonic. He got captured. How'd you find that out? I just made a whole bunch of new friends. They saw the Metarex capturing Sonic. We gotta go rescue him, Amy. I'll take care of it, Chris. These folks will show me where Sonic's being held. When he sees me coming, his heart will start pounding faster than my hammer. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, Amy. My pleasure, Sonic. Amy, you're the most beautiful girl in the universe. Oh, Sonic, really? Now I see what a fool I've been for waiting so long, Amy. Will you marry me? Oh, Sonic, of course I will. Uh, excuse me. 
Excuse me? Is that you, Sonic? No, it's me, Chris! We have to rescue Sonic right away, Amy! What do you mean, we? I don't need a chaperone! Okay. Tails, I'll need some time to set Sonic free. Pick us up in the X-Tornado in an hour. Got it? Sure, Amy. Need any help getting the X-Tornado ready? I don't think so, Chris. Why don't you go take a rest? You might want to wash up a bit, too. Hmm? Oh. I learned so much in the past six years. I got self-confidence when Tanaka taught me self-defense. Grandpa gave me flying lessons and helped me get my pilot's license. I even got a part-time job after school so I could get work experience. But now it's like I'm back where I was six years ago. Leave the fighting to the experts, Chris. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to come here after all. Sonic and the others don't need my help. They all have incredible powers. Every time we get into trouble, one of them jumps into action and saves the day. And I just stand there watching. I want to help, but what can I do? Even cream and cheese can do more than I can. I may as well face it. I'm totally useless. And I should have stayed home. Something told me Sonic was in danger. That's why I had to come here. I had to! Are those your new designs, Chris? Well, they're just some ideas. Let me see. Hmm, interesting. What's this? It doesn't have a name yet, but if it works, it could help Sonic get energy wherever he needs it out in space. And this? Those are speed shoes. The soles are made from a special compound that helps the shoe grip the ground while at the same time reducing... Maybe they're all silly. I think they're all wonderful. You do? <laughs> I do. I have learned a lot in six years, and Sonic does need me. I can help him. This is the only entrance. I'm afraid it will be impossible to reach your friend. I'll get in. How can you? I'll use a little friendly persuasion. I warn you, those guards are vicious. So am I. Hey, pal! If you're hungry, let's order a pizza! Sonic! Huh?
catch me. Oh, sorry. Amy, look out! <laughs> Come on, we've got a plane to catch. You want to rescue me? Don't! Hey, Sonic! That's Chris! Try these! Shoes, Amy. Now that's an inventive invention. Thanks, Tails. Guys, look! More Metarex on the way! Now that I can stay dry, those fish heads are washed up! Returning to normal. Ah, uh, I must have fallen asleep. Ah. Uh, Feels fantastic! Back on solid ground! <laughs> These shoes are great! Hold on to them for me, will ya? If you like the shoes, I've got some other stuff you can try. Will do! Come on, I'll race you back to the Blue Typhoon! <laughs> Hedgehog, 